all. So, Tottenham away. Love it. But a question for you. You see, I have a bit of a theory. I don't know if it's right, but I guess for me, it makes a little bit of sense. So I'm going to air that theory with you and see what you think, guys. You see, I believe right now they are sounding out alternatives to Graham Potter. They would have to do so because it makes business sense. Why wouldn't they? Because they have to have a plan of action. I believe that they were never going to sack him before this Tottenham game. Why? Because for them, it's a win-win situation in a negative set of circumstances. Let me explain to you why. Should Chelsea win this particular game? Now, let's not forget this is against our our rivals, our greatest rivals. It's a team that we've got massive history and a team where we always smash. I think one win in 40 games. Uh, Tottenham have actually managed to win at Stamford Bridge. And listen, there's a reason why we call it three-point lane um, down the years. We've smashed them 6-1 there. Loads and loads of massive wins against this team. There's very much a possibility that they could actually win this game because we're in the mud and our form is absolutely dreadful. So, it's a win-win situation for what reasons? Well, they may as well hang on to see this game out and I'll tell you for why, because should we lose the game, uh, they will gauge the reaction from the supporters and if it's really, really bad, they can pull the trigger anyway. So what's the difference in a few days? May as well let it ride out. And if they do get rid of him, it gives them a bit more time to sound out who they could bring in as a replacement. And they could act as though they're taking definite action after showing a little bit of faith. It brings up their credibility more. Alternatively, we managed to win the game, which we inevitably do. As I say, three wins out of three last season, nine nil in terms of goals. Why wouldn't you think that? Win that game and it buys them some more time. And, uh, and then they'll wait for the next game and so forth and so forth. I believe if Chelsea lose at Tottenham on Sunday at the weekend, uh, they will pull the trigger on Graham Potter. I really do think that because I think those 3,000 Chelsea fans will be certainly making their voices uh, loud and clear. So the question is this, would you forego a Chelsea victory? In other words, allow Spurs to beat Chelsea on Sunday if it means for sure, 100%, that our club gets rid of Graham Potter and brings in somebody competent uh, to take over the reins. Like Zinedine Zidane, like Luis Enrique, like Mauricio Pochettino, like Jose Mourinho, like Flick, like whoever... Someone with credible uh, honours and um, someone with about a 31% win record. You tell me, guys, the question is this. Would you, just for this one occasion, allow Spurs a little bit of glory while we're in the mud on Sunday, allow them one little victory at the expense to allow us to get rid of Graham Potter? A Chelsea defeat and Potter goes... Or a Chelsea win and he stays. What would be your decision? It's a tough one, isn't it? That's no down below, guys. And much love. Music